Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Rexler. And I'm Sam. And we're here today hanging out with Miss OC Gay Pride 2018-2019, Sarah Wynn. Welcome to our channel today. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Of course. You are looking gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful job, as always. Thank you. Of course. And while you get to see Miss Sarah get all dolled up this way, me and my pink look. We're going to be sitting down today talking about Sarah's platforms, uh, some of the highlights she had this year being Miss OC Pride, some of the events she went to, um, going to kind of get a little bit of her coming out story since this is What Does Pride Mean to Me docuseries summer 2019. So this is episode two, like I said. Keep watching through this docu-series. I will have my coming out story. I'm just not letting y'all know when. I, I haven't decided yet when I'm going to sit down and film that, but that's... Something That's going to be a hard one to do. So, today we're going to be talking about your charity was... What? This year? Uh, Radiant Health Centers and uh, OC LGBT Center. Wonderful. And shout out to OC's... LGBT Center, and uh, shout out to, um, by the way, it being Pride season. Yay! Orange County Pride's real soon. Yes. It's right around the corner. Um, if any of y'all are going to be there, hope to see you out there. If not, oh well, you missed it. If you're not around here, well, <laughs> happy Pride. Happy Pride. <laughs> Hopefully there's a Pride near you, and if so, go enjoy Pride. So, come on this journey with us and watch us have some fun and learn a little. Okay, so we just washed your face and we exfoliated. How is your skin feeling? Does it feel dry? Does it feel tight? Um, it feels like really soft. I'm definitely, I'm feeling a little tightness in my forehead. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. And then usually, you don't, you don't usually wear makeup unless you're doing drag, right? Right. Okay. So, would you say... Does your face stay more normal? Does it get dry? Does it get oily during the day? Um, typically, I sweat a lot, so okay. it does get oily probably more in my forehead area. Okay. Um, and probably my T-zone. Okay. Other than that, um, it's fine when I'm not sweating. <laughs> yes. Um, do you use anything at home, like any moisturizers or eye creams or anything like that? Um, I am using... Who, me? Oh, okay, so I so every day I use uh, like a face wash and okay. it's the, the brand Pacifica. Okay. Um, I really enjoy it. It's nice and it makes me relax. Um, I, I love a relaxing face wash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, and then I switched to Cetaphil. Okay. So it feels really soft. It is really soft, but I kind of noticed like it wasn't working for me after like it's a, a little week. Bit too gentle. It's like really like it wasn't. It's more for people who have like really sensitive skin, like will react with like any chemical. Yeah, it wasn't like meshing with me, and then I went back to the because I noticed like uh, was it breaking you out? Yeah, it was breaking me out. It can do that to some people, especially um, some people who are sensitive if their skin's used to one brand or one certain wash and they go try to use something else, it's gonna have a reaction. I yeah. say, um, say you're using something and then you wanna to switch to a different brand, you are going to experience a breakout for possibly a week just because your skin was so used to the brand you were using before and now you're introducing it to new chemicals. So yes, your your face can break out. It's, it's very normal. Okay, cool. So, I mean, and I'm going back to Pacifica, so hopefully it will just go back. clear up. Okay. But, yeah. So it looks like then, you, sounds like you have a little bit of oily skin. Um, there can be an overproduction of oil, which we like to hydrate our skin. So I'm going to definitely use some hydrating products on you today to help control your oil as well. Because another thing, if I have oily to combination, I have combination skin. And I get oily sometimes, but I'm mostly really dry. My skin has definitely changed over time, but you pro you overproduce oil when you don't moisturize your skin well enough. Like if you're not using a face moisturizer or a toner or a hydrator or something that kind of keeps your skin 
balanced. Yeah, I used to do face mask like every day, like hydrating face mask, and then I kind of just like stopped. stopped. And then did and you notice a huge difference in your skin? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm not getting like the glow that I usually have. And yeah, and now I'm all into the glowiness. Basically, I'm like, oh, I look oily, and I'm like, oh, like I look, I look glowy. I, I look youthful. <laughs> I look young. I mean, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> All right. Well, then I want to ask you to remove your glasses because okay, we're going to use some products on your skin. Okay. And then we're going to have Rexler come in here because Rexler is going to get ready with us while I do your makeup. Here, you move know this to how you look like. It's not how that would play out. <laughs> that you like, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to say that. No, you that know, one we'll save for later. <laughs> so, oh we are going to use Grace and Stella spray all day to rose face. It's a hydrating rose facial spray. I just got this with my Fab Fit Fun Box. So, we're going to give this a try. They actually reached out to me, I want to say it was Instagram, and they said, please let us know how you like it. So, I will. I'm, I mean, I've used it on myself, and I like it so far. So, Grace and Stella keep the good work. Work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what was your platform? Oh, what was my platform? Um, so, my platform um, is uh, mental health. Um, okay. I wanted to focus on organizations uh, that provide inclusive services. Uh, for the LGBTQ community, so I'm not like particularly for mental health. So I raised money and um, really try to like bring awareness to certain nonprofits and two in particular. Uh, um, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. What were right. those? Oh, two? Was the two in particular were um, the OC LGBT Center and uh, Radiant Health Centers. Uh, and we will link their information down below in case you, anybody wants to check them out, donate to any of them. We will uh, link their websites in the description. Oh. This is the illuminating eye cream, so it'll help with dark circles, puffiness, tired eyes, all that jazz. I'm real tired. All that jazz. <laughs> yes, this will make you look awake. Yes. <laughs> it's coffee for the face. I mean, where has this been all my life? This is... Um, Wherever you can find Elf. Oh. So Target. <laughs> Sephora, uh, Sephora, Ulta. Sephora, Ulta. But I don't know if this eye cream is new. I was like looking up I like the best eye creams for aging skin under ten dollars, I think. Uh -huh. And this was like one of them. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get it. Was it how? It was like, we don't know who the father is. <laughs> <laughs> you have distant relative, you have distant cousin eyebrows. These are distant cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, at least I tried. Yes, I'm very proud. And this could be like multiple, like it'd just be like, like just like. <laughs> 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 you just cut and jump. Okay, why are you using. I wasn't using that. I was actually. I know you were using mine. And, and then I went to go grab that and I was like, that's not what I want. No, because that would be too dark. Yeah. When did this turn into me doing your brows for you? I was just, <laughs> I was just uh, supposed to fix the air. I don't know. You're the one that's deciding to finish it, so thank you. Yeah, you needed help, honey. Support moms. Badass moms. Yeah.
I support badass mothers because we all know a badass mother. Mm -hmm. And I'm the mother hen in my group, so. A bunch of chicken bag in my group. Right? No, seriously. She does have a chicken bag, though. You have a chicken bag? Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. I mean, you're still gonna have to conceal, but. But now they're not mm -hmm. distant. Sis they're not distant, distant cousins. cousins. They're sisters. Oh. Thank you. They're not twins, but they're sisters. And this is where you put We Are Family. <laughs> we are family. <laughs> do you like this? Do you like this? <laughs> well, no more. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's Ritz Wugs, and you won't believe it's wrong. Can you guys tell I had like, it's not coffee, but it's tea. But oh. mine is! I mean, can you guys tell like that I actually had caffeine today? Because usually in the videos, I'm like. She's typically sitting there like. Super soft. Uh -huh. I'm really tired, but I'm like, hi, hello, how are you? Make sure she... <laughs> As we pull up the Jeffree Star, and I said, hi, hello, how are you? I mean... Oops. Hello? Hello? So that's just to soften really your brow so there's no harsh lines and they still look natural, but they also are like filled in. Yes. Post it? No, we're gonna use hers. She has okay. an infallible by L'Oreal Paris. It's the infallible matte lock. I would show you guys this, but it's really dirty. <laughs> She keeps this in her drag case, so we'll show you it. I mean, it's amazing. Like, I love this primer. Okay, so this year, as Miss Gay Pride, Sarah, yeah. you got to do quite a lot in the community. So you got to go to different sporting events, different galas and balls, award ceremonies and stuff all throughout Southern California. Do you want to talk about your experiences and like some of the things that you got to do? Yeah, totally. Sure. So. <laughs> Throughout the year, what are some of your favorite events that you got to go to? And who are some of your sponsors? Ooh. Or are you allowed to talk about who some of your sponsors were? I don't know if I can talk about sponsors per okay. se, but... How many sponsors did you have throughout the year? Do you think, roughly? Like, sponsors as in, like, people who actually said, hey, I'm gonna sponsor you, or hey, like... I want to sponsor you, or how does that I don't work? think they mentioned, like, hey, like, let me sponsor you, but they definitely helped me out in terms of, like... That's that's still a sponsorship. I mean, it's not really <laughs> the word sponsor, but who was willing to help you? Yeah. Um, oh. That you can talk about. I don't know if I can talk about it, that's the thing. Okay, but... so how many helped throughout your year? Oh my goodness, like... Roughly. Ooh. I want to say... At least... I'm like counting in my head. <laughs> I want to say about 10 maybe? 
Nice. I don't know. I have to go sit down and, and actually think about it. But and like look it up and everything. Yeah, because I had people that were like, uh, like actually having their own business. Like I had small businesses as well as like larger businesses. So, um, well, larger than small, yeah. <laughs> like medium. Okay. Um, that really wanted to help out, and and then I have like individuals, like community members. So. I mean, it was a lot of people that were willing to support, and I definitely appreciate, you know, the the time and the effort and the donations for sure. Well, of course. But like in terms of like event wise, yeah. Um, what were some of your favorite ones that you got to do? Oh, gosh, we can talk about it. Uh, so I went to the Pride Ducks game, which was super fun. Um, I was not expecting to be playing chicken in a plastic ball. Oh, how cool! <laughs> Do tell more about yeah, that. Yeah, oh, that don't that don't have never been to a ducks game or well, seen I've that. I've been to a ducks game but or seen it. So it's like it's called you, you get it's like chicken zorbs, whatever. So. Um, Okay, I have a question. Do you have a thing with chickens? Like, do you have chickens? Because <laughs> I hear you have a chicken bag. Okay, that chicken bag is like really rad. Like, I have to say, like, I, I mean, I don't have like a pet chicken, and I'm like not obsessed with chickens. But I, I mean, mean, like, chicken. I mean, like, my chicken bag is like amazing. legit. Like, okay, okay like, is it a bag with chickens on it? Is it to capture no, chicken? No. Is it you eat chicken out of it? No, it's like. It's a legit, it's shaped like a chicken. chicken. So like, okay, like a hen. Like a, chi like a hen. hen. Okay, not like a chicken nugget or a no. chicken. It's like a legit, a like a chicken, like a bok bok chicken. Like a bok bok chicken. Like a bok bok chicken. Yeah. Yeah. No, like legit. It chicken. Looks, that's why like a lot of people have to like second look like, what? Like is this bitch really carrying a chicken? Bring it to that event that I met you at. The lace and leather? The leather event? No. Okay. No, no, no. I didn't bring anything. I don't think you did. But I was just like, was it there? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's it's like in my trunk right now, as we speak. Like, should bring it? I don't know. But oh well. Um, yeah, it's like this really cool, like, it's waterproof chicken bag. Like, it's kind of cool. It's like rubbery and it's really nice. It's really nice detail. Um, but how do we get to this chicken bag? Okay, Zorbs. Zorbs. <laughs> yeah, chicken <laughs> Zorbs. Chicken Zorbs. Um, so basically, um, me and two other title holders, um, played this game against three other people in our community or um, fans of the Ducks. Um, and basically we are on the ice, no ice skates, just regular shoes. And when they say go, we have to run into each other while we're in this plastic ball. Oh, like, it's entertaining? Like, it's not like, it's like, uh, how do I explain it? It's like this bubble that you get in, but you have it's it only like covering is only yeah, my torso, like, yeah. like my waist up, kind of. Well, no, kind of like bumper, bumper ball, yeah. bumper balls. Well, actually, it was like for my knees because I'm short. So, like, <sighs> you know, I'm just trying to like be like, real. Yeah, be really real. Like it was a uh, really tough. Uh, I felt like I was knocked over real quick. Like I went in, and then I went down. Like, oh. <laughs> you're like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm, oh. Yeah, I was just like, oh. I'm so ready that I'm done. Yeah, I was just like, what? At first, I was like, not gonna lie, when I got into like, the plastic ball situation, I kind of felt a little bit. I was like, what is this? And also, how do you get out? It was really hard to get out. Um, so, but... It is what it is. It was really fun. Um, I never thought I would ever be on the ice um, during a game or during halftime. Okay. So that was Did, a, were you just randomly picked or how um, did that work? They were offering it to me. Um, prior? Yeah, they offered prior, but they didn't tell us what we were doing. 
I thought we were just uh, on the ice. Do you uh, mind if I twist some hairs? Not at all. What do I do? Okay. Um, so yeah, like, they were like, oh, you're just going to be on the ice and you're going to use your, use your foot to kick the puck. I was like, I'm down for this. They're like, oh, just kidding. You're going to do this. And I was like, excuse me? Come again? You say what? I was like, what? Uh, um, but it was a, it was a good experience overall and I enjoyed it. Uh, good. So, um, fun. Is there any other events that you um, had a lot of fun with? I mean, I had fun overall, like, the whole entire year. Um, oh, gosh. You know what? I really, um, I really had fun at Les Athlon. Okay. Um, what was that? Yeah, it's, like, in L.A. Um, at this, like, park. I don't remember what the park is called. But basically, you had to, like, climb up this park and then climb up to the park and um, it's like a bunch of queer folks like come together and uh, yeah uh, it was really intense they're really competitive like I was like excuse me um, so you had to do this like um, kind of like relay race but it's like there are different uh, stations that you have to go to mm -hmm. and you work as a team and so somebody had to climb up this huge pink wall. I volunteer should be I love climbing. But there's no rope. Do you still volunteer? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no rope. Uh, and you have to like pretty much jump and like get yourself oh, no, over. This, this run up jump. And like some people were like real competitive. I was like, excuse me. Um, and then you have to and then you tag and then somebody rolls down a hill. And then somebody, okay, I'll, I'll run on the hill. And then somebody else like carries like twenty to twenty five pounds in each like like sandbags. And then ha and then somebody has to bear crawl, which I did. Um, I mean, I carry at least seventeen pounds almost every day. Really? I mean, that's that's how I stay so fit. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I lug 17 pounds with me. How do you know it's 17 pounds? Mm. <laughs> because I, I weigh it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every couple of months, I weigh it. Just to make sure. But I'm still carrying the same amount. Wow. But yeah, so, uh, and then after that, somebody has to fire was it like fire fighter carry somebody? Like I was like, that's not as intense. Like this is like a lot. But uh Sounds like a good time though. It was such a good time. And then there was oil wrestling, which is now my favorite sport to watch. Is that like cello wrestling, but with oil? Yeah, so like you but like it was really intense. I was like, this is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It's the best day. <laughs> Aww. I love that song. Come on, SpongeBob. Come through. Come, 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 and sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So right now I'm just concealing your lids. about LA, no, it's okay, LA, uh, LA Dodgers game. can do that too, and you were also at LA Pride. I was at LA Pride, oh, wow, like, I, <laughs> I, I was in LA when that was going on, was and hot. I, oh, it was, I was at a baby shower, it was so hot, we had to go inside. It was so hot, like, I honestly, uh, we had, like, tacos and margaritas, <laughs> I, I had one margarita, but I was just like, this is exactly what I need on this 
hot summer day. It was so hot, I felt like my, I just felt like I was gonna pass out. Like, yeah, like halfway through, I'm just like, uh, like, yeah. But I've also like lost my phone too. So like, mm -hmm. girl. Yeah, and then like we called it a bunch of times and like the sheriff like picked up and was like, hello. Hi, do you have my phone? I lost it. <laughs> Who is this? Sure. Yeah, right. I'm so lucky. I guess like when I was being super extra and like doing high kicks, I guess uh Who doesn't love a high kick? Right. You high kicked that bitch right out. <laughs> <laughs> if I could do a high kick. Do it, do it, yes. Come on. I lie in the flexible pants. Okay, let's see. Cool. This girl hasn't been in a while. Just don't eat shit, please. Oh, we can't see you. <laughs> yes! Okay. I haven't done one of those in a long time. I neither did the other side. This one won't walk this high, but... Come on. Know. Come on, high kick. What? Come on. <laughs> yes! Can you tell what I haven't done? Oh, that felt good, though. But yeah, it was a... Uh, yeah, black and white ball, Dodgers game. Uh, I just like being able to like meet new people. Oh, and, of course. Uh, I know, like, and really... this title gave you that opportunity too. Oh yeah, totally. Um, I mean, I've been doing a lot of advocacy work prior to this title, and new people. This is just me stepping over. Yeah. Nice. Um, I knew people um, prior, and it was like. I guess it gave me another opportunity to meet other advocates too. I mean, That's always a great thing. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I really enjoyed. I mean, I had fun. Like, I had fun in different aspects. It wasn't just like big events. Like, I kind of uh, fell in love with um, a particular community that I now identify with, which is the leather community. And how did you stumble into the leather community? Well, um, so I went to the frat house, which is the pretty much the last bar. It is the bar. last gay bar in Garden, Garden Grove. Grove. I just saw that. Mm -hmm. And um, and I actually heard about the event at the Orange County Imperial Port meeting, and I was like, you know what, like. I'm down to support, and I was like, all right, let's do this. And I actually kind of enjoyed it, maybe a little bit too much, <laughs> and ended up uh, being part of it. I don't think there's anything too much for enjoyment with that group, James. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick some colors that you really like out of these Alex. Put your glasses on. Yeah, I was like, I can't. Oh yeah, please put your glasses on. <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Oh, she pink. Oh wow. Wait, hold on. Go this way. I feel like that one's sharper. Than it's because of the eyebrow. Oh, okay. I know. I need to fix the brow. Pick as many shades as you like. This is most. BT yeah. I have um, this one. I have this pink and this pink. I have all the pinks. I don't right know. Now. Like I don't yeah, really. We have cavity noise and it's in the bottom. Savage. Savage. I mean, I love a good smoky eye. Uh, okay. That's what I'm used to. But I'm like really open to whatever looks good. So. Okay. What colors do you like? I mean. I'm, I'm we a, could do like a red smoky eye, we can do a bronze smoky eye, we can do an orange smoky eye, we can do a pink smoky eye. Let's do a purple smoky eye. Purple smoky eye. I, I can do that. Listen.
So, Sarah. Um, another part of this whole entire segment, since this whole summer, like, seems to be Pride season. I don't care. It's more... Pride season seems to be all summer long, in my opinion. I mean, it's all day, every day. Let's just be real. Of course. I mean, we're proud to be who we are. So, do you want to actually you. share your coming out story? And, like... I mean, you already shared your coming out to leather story, but do you want to share your coming out to being who Wait, you are? And we should identify as? Uh, sure. Um, and what do you identify? So I identify as queer, um, but interchangeably I say gay and lesbian. Okay. Um, but majority of time I say queer. Um, in terms of, like, my gender... Um, as of right now, I just identify as a woman. Uh, I came out to myself because I think that was the most important time. I noticed something was different when I was like 10, but like, um, but in terms of like coming out to myself because I came from a religious background, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until like high schoolish, um, but like truly like out and about and like really just being verbal about it was when I was in college. Um, I came out to my friends first um, in high school when I, you know, was like kind of really on the DL. Um, but then, yeah. But then when like I was 18, I just went to like the queerest fundraiser on the planet <laughs> for college and my dad was like, hey, you want to go to dinner? And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to tell him. Um, so I told my dad, and the first thing he said was, um, or when I said, hey, like, I'm gay, he was like, oh, I know. And I was like, oh my gosh, how do you know? And he was like, you're always happy. And I was like, wait. Wrong well, gay. Not that type of gay, but I mean, like, I'm also, like, happy, but, like, I like women. <laughs> um, and he was like, okay. Um, totally fine. Totally fine. Beautiful. Yeah, so... Um, Which is very rare, especially, like, nowadays. Like, most people not being able to even be themselves anymore or anything like that, like, really sucks. Yeah, um, it totally does. And, like, I was honestly, like, really, um, really... I, I mean, I had a little confidence in that it would be okay when I came out to him, but it's still kind of nerve-wracking, you know? You never know. Coming out to parents, of course. Yeah, totally. Now, my question for you in your culture, uh huh. since you are Vietnamese, mm -hmm. now, it is, how is gay and Vietnamese? Like, oh gosh. Is it Did dishonor it on the family? Like, I mean, that was one of my concerns. It's not just like my religious background, it's also like, I like to call myself the triple minority. Like I'm not only like queer, but I'm also a woman and I- Of I'm color. A, and I'm of color. I'm, my parents are immigrants. So they immigrated here from Vietnam. Um, when did they- How long ago? Um, so in terms of um, immigrating. They immigrated here due to the Vietnam War. Okay. Um, so was it, uh, okay. 80s. Um, yeah, like, 80s, late 70s, something like that. And, um, yeah. Uh, so when I came out to different people, I was, like, totally freaking out. Because even being in spaces that are, like, super, uh, Vietnamese, uh, like, or, you know, expressing that culture, I tend to freeze up a little bit because I've heard stories where people just get beat up. Right. And, uh, like, Happy, I'm going to ask you a question. Uh -huh. I just saw it today, made me cry. Do you know who the Try Guys are? Yes. Okay, have you seen Eugene's video? No, not yet. <gasps> you need to watch it. I sent it to Jake. And I'm like, we need to get Eugene on here. We need to speak, or I at least need people to watch the video. I will put a link it. in the description down below. I, this was a very heart touching video. It. it was like his showing his community because you know I think what is he? He's 
Korean? Korean. Korean. And so I know Korean and Vietnamese are very different, but like as in the same as in like their upbringing and what they're taught and all that stuff, it was very, I feel like it would be kind of not exactly the same, but maybe similar I'm, to something. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like, um, I mean, in, like there's like this nonprofit um, called Be Rock. Um, it's Vit Rainbow. Vit Rainbow Orange County. They're one of the nonprofits that are kind of intersecting queer folks and and Vietnamese folks. Yes. So or Asian folks in general. Mm -hmm. um, it's really cool because they really fought in order to be in the in the Tet Parade, which is the Chinese or uh, New Lunar New Year yes. festival. Um, they really fought to be in it. Uh, Congratulations on getting into it. I know, right? Many, many years. Uh, it, but, I mean, they struggled to, to be seen. Uh, but, you know, they're making progress. And they even, like, fight for different, um, like, different parts of Orange County to be visible. So it's not just, like, Garden Grove, Westminster, they look at other places. Right. All over. Yeah, and they've even been out of state, too. So, to just be a supporter. Um, and they've done documentaries and research. But one of their research is, like, revolving around acceptance of queer folks. And, and there isn't enough acceptance. We're still fighting to this day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, we're still, I mean... We're still fighting, and I think another thing is there's so much stigma that we're kind of just used to, and that's, unfortunately, right? And then, unfortunately, that is part of the cause is that um, when folks experience internalized homophobia, so, um, so like when I'm in a space that's like Vietnamese or like in a very heteronormative space, um, I get afraid and scared. And very uncomfortable. And yeah, extremely uncomfortable about my safety, about um, the safety of whoever I'm dating and- And um, everybody around, yeah. Yeah. And some people are like, well, it is better than back in the day. Yeah, it, I mean- But it's not. This, but, but it's, it's not as where it needs to be. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm optimistic that one day we will get there, of course. But right now, it's it's tough. It's very tough being LGBT in, in the this world. Like I really, I pray for the day that if we ever have children, that they get to grow up in a world that it's not so hard. Right. Um. So, like, it was, I mean, it still is really difficult nowadays to just be your true authentic self. I guess, like, one of the things that I really liked about being this OC Pride and one of the reasons why I wanted to be is I wanted to kind of show my visibility as a, a queer Asian person that was raised and actually born and raised in Orange County. I wanted to give hope to people who feel like that there is no hope. Yeah, but especially within our, in, in my Vietnamese culture, like people who identify as Asian or Vietnamese to kind of just be able to say, hey, you know what? Like, I'm not the only one type of thing. And also like, I can do it. Because when you go to Pride, like especially like Orange County, I start to wonder where is our where's the Asian visibility? Where's yes, because there really isn't. And here's really the thing, we have like Garden Road, we have Westminster, we have a lot of spaces that Asian folks uh, like are at yeah. and like live. Yeah, so I'm like, how am I the first Vietnamese person to be having a pride title in Orange County. Like, especially for Miz. 
Why? Well, the one thing about Orange County that most people don't realize is Orange County is a very conservative county. The gays here are very conservative. The LGBT community is very conservative here. And unfortunately, with how conservative it is, is the problem with not having certain, how to say it, um, pretty much not having certain, like, commitments, um, support. So, I mean, I can understand where it is. And I understand completely where you're coming from. I appreciate that. Like, we need more people, more diverse people that identify as people. Not, I hate being stuck under stigma labels. Okay, I like guys. Doesn't mean that I, I'm gay. Like, yeah, okay, it means I'm gay, but why do we have to have gay, bi, straight, uh, like all of that, like. I just say queer. Majority of the time I say queer. I mean, it's, I mean, but also it's like people, how they identify, you know? If, I see where you're coming from, but. I mean, why can't we just identify as human? I don't know. I feel like in terms of like specific identities, I think it's something that we should acknowledge and embrace. And I really embrace as queer. And I mean, more than a lot of other identities. Right. Which is amazing to be able to especially nowadays, like being able to walk out and identify it as queer and know that it's easier than what it once was. Yeah. I mean, in terms of like other identities, like, I think also, you know, there were times where I'm like, this doesn't fit me as well. It's kind of like being able to say like, yeah, this is who I am. This is me, yes. Yeah. So, and I think it's important to kind of acknowledge each culture. Because there's a difference between gay culture and lesbian culture, for sure. Huge! Yeah, exactly. So, like, we can't just, like, put those together. I don't together. think a lot of people know that, that are not familiar with the community. I don't think they realize. Community. Yeah, like, there's such a big, like... Difference. Yeah. And stigmas, there's a big difference in the way that each carries themselves and portrays themselves in the community and everything too. Like, yes, sadly there are those gays that give every gay person a really bad name. Same with lesbians. It's, it's anybody, any culture, anywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's like, I mean, for real, like there are lesbians that are like, just like really not as supportive of like, folks who are trans. Well, same in the gay culture, which really bugs me. Like It really does. Like, it really bugs me too. Like, I just, I just don't understand. Like, I'm not saying all lesbians don't accept trans folks, but. No, like, but there's, there's their, their there handful. Are, there are, there are a few that just like, really just support like, cis folks. And I'm like, the, what? I've also ran into the lesbians out there that don't like guys, period, gays. Gay, straight, bi, doesn't fucking matter. You got a dick, I hate you. And I've ran into that. I mean, there are going to be people that are very much... Against things. Yeah. But that's where diversity comes in. Yeah. And I, I think it's just really important to honor each, you know, each identity in that case. I agree.
All right, and now that we're all done getting all dolled up, beautiful Sam over here, all done up. Miss OC Pride 2018 over here, all dolled up. And of course me, just beautiful as ever, Miss Plastic. <laughs> 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 Just her being self-centered. No, conceited. Girl, she's conceited as hell. Mm -hmm. You just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Rexler. And I'm Sam. And I'm uh, Miss OC Pride 2018-2019 Sarah Wynn. And that was our show. Good night, guys. Mwah.